Hey, YouTube. Well, thank God the rain has come. God sent us rain. It's California, at least in the Northern California. It's supposed to be raining the next few days. Desperately need it. But they say that it could cause issues for that area that was burned so badly. It could cause issues with flooding. So, I mean, the area is devastated. I don't know what else is there, how it could be further destroyed, but maybe adjoining areas. But the whole state needs rain. It's been very, very dry here. So it's good news. Let's hope that the other situation doesn't cause any more damage. I said like 6,000 homes were destroyed in that fire. It's a lot, a lot of people. Okay, so I came on here to talk about Takashi 69. Now this dude, I know everybody say, oh man, he's wasting time. He's on the street. From what I've seen, you know, I'm not a hip-hop person, but uh, I see the news. I see what's on YouTube. I see TMZ and those kind of organizations. And it seems like every time someone interviewed him, they were of the impression that this person was not long for this world. Breakfast Club with, uh, with uh, Charlemagne. He told him to his face, I don't think you're going to live long. Kid was arrogant. But for a person, from what I see of this person, it seems like getting arrested might be the best thing for him at this point in his life. Because, I mean, it, prison or dead, I think I'd take prison. I've been in prison many times. You can survive that. I mean, they got all these complications with this dude, though. But uh, basically, I think he was rescued. I said his situation was dangerous. He had just fired his entire crew. They picked up, the, the FBI picked up in, in uh, communications, wire, wiretapping and so forth, that these people were planning on hurting him bad, super bad, which would probably mean they're going to take him out. That crowd, they take people out very easily, these young people. So he was in danger of not being here very long. So in this case, I'd say he's rescued. Just like when you see, when you see these guys who strung out on dope, digging through your garbage and all that, you got to run them off. Get out of here, crackhead! Then the next time you see that, you see that person uh, a couple years later, they standing up straight, look normal, got muscles, got bulk. That's because he just got out of jail. So jail, the, the cops actually rescued the person. Unfortunately, addiction is, is so, you know, it can take you back. But uh, everyone seemed to predict that this guy was not going to be around much longer, right? So it might not be a horrible thing. Now, the other issue is they said they put him in in uh, in uh, general population. General population means out. they let, let him out on the yard for hours at a time. Everybody comes together, you know. They have jobs, they work, they're getting around the prison, so forth. Generally speaking, celebrities don't go to uh, to uh, general population, especially not people with, with a history of gangbanging. And uh, people, hip-hop people, definitely, they won't want them on the main line. But even just celebrities, even Bill Cosby, they don't want them on the main line. Usually they're in protective custody, they go out in the yard and so forth, but they only go out with each other. It's a small group. They don't let them out with everybody. So I don't know what this is. I imagine it's a scare tactic. And I don't know what he's doing in prison. If he just got busted, they don't take you to prison. When you get busted, they take you to jail. So are they talking about he's in a main population in jail? Because if he's in jail, he's still in the cell. He might be let out on whatever road that maybe 10 people are behind a gate. But jail and then like prison. So, but this is the publicity. They're saying that uh, he's been uh, he's been kept in general population. That's a prison term. He hasn't even been arraigned yet. Why would you send somebody straight to prison? So apparently he's with the feds. So the feds operate a little differently. One thing I said about the feds, though, it's not, uh, the feds is much lighter prison than uh, the state. If you had state time on the main line, yes, extremely dangerous. But federal crimes are, generally speaking, 
uh, white collar crimes. A lot of white collar criminals in those places. Different crowd than uh, than uh, state. Could still be dangerous. I don't know why they have them on mainline. But uh, like I said, that's, uh, that's a prison term. I don't know how you're going to be on mainline if you're in jail. I mean, I guess you come out mingle a little bit. But it's still basically like a pretty secure place in, in a county jail. They go out on the roof or whatever yard they got for a couple of hours a day with heavily security all over the place. They're going to get you and more likely be in prison where they have more freedom. Anyway. So let's see. The other bad thing, of course, is they're talking about a long, long time. So I don't know why all this information would, would be public. They're saying he's facing life in prison. Some say he's facing 25 years in prison. His charges are something like racketeering and other crimes he's been involved in. Many people feel like, well, they put him on, on the main line so they, uh, 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 he could try to pressure him into talking. He can't talk when you're dead. If they're real gangbangers in that place, you know, they got vendettas to go back generations. So we'll see what's happened to this kid. But for the moment, it seems like jail would be a much better place for him to be than uh, in the streets. If he didn't fire his whole crew, they are also, uh, you know, questionable types, criminal types. Uh, he could be dead. It's a possibility that that's what's going on. It could be that he's just in basically protective custody and he told them, well, you have to come up with this story or whatever because it all happened in a couple of days. The feds came to him and said, listen, the people are going to try to kill you and we can take you in to protect you. Takashi says, no, this is all public now. I don't know why we have all this information. The feds are not in the information business concerning us. They're not concerned with paparazzi and all this kind of stuff. This will have to be something that he has orchestrated. But um, he said no. Then a couple days later, they come and arrest him. I don't know. But this is this guy's one chance to become an old man. So we'll see. I don't think he's going to be in, in, in general population. They just don't do celebrities. My experience is they don't do celebrities like that. Particularly not that, that kind of celebrity. And he's a gangbanger. They send certain gangbangers to certain prisons. Then the other ones that they know we have beefs, they send them to other places. When you go in, they ask you, what are your affiliations? They check your tattoos and they house you accordingly. So I think there might be some trickery in this thing. Or they're giving us a story. They're giving us a story where this kid can go away, not be killed, and perhaps uh, not be labeled as a snitch. I don't know why TMZ even suggested that. Is there a possibility that, that he could be talking? It's not their business. You can get that person hurt. And if it's not, it's not supported by anything, I mean, you just throw it out there like that. But that's what they do. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, people. Y'all started cooking yet? <laughs> y'all start cooking all my shit is in the bag right so all I gotta do is get up in the morning and put it in the oven the meat I have my Thanksgiving I have uh, potluck I know some people who cook who really do cook and who appreciate only the people who cook cooking <laughs> they don't want to come here experimenting right <laughs> so the people who cook make most of the food I host and I make the meat. The meat is the easiest thing to do. I give you the instructions right there. Turn the oven on and stick it in, honey. Happy Thanksgiving, folks.